We are now leaving the lookout hostel. We almost got vortexed. Hey, did you look in there and make sure we didn't forget nothing? Yeah, we did. Anyway, this is a nice spot for you to sit if you want to have your coffee or your meals. You have a lookout here. Let me go down here and show you. It was a little cloudy earlier this morning and she has a beautiful uh, mural here. beautiful so thank you yard sale for um, providing us a place to stay there's a porta potty very nice place anybody coming through this area it's a very nice place to stay yes so it's Tuesday May 9th we totally almost got vortex at the lookout hostel it took us a long time to uh, get ready and get out of there. It's actually 11 a.m. and we have 13.3 miles to go or to hike today. So yeah, we almost didn't. Uh, <laughs> we almost didn't start going, and it's so easy to uh, do a zero there. It's a nice place, but. Um, we really need to get going and get out of Pennsylvania and uh, get to New Jersey. But uh, Waterboy and Ultra are there doing their zero. And we love their company. They're wonderful people. We are going to miss hiking with Ultra. We hiked with her for, I think, eight days. She's so awesome. And uh, I'm sure we'll see Waterboy here soon, even though he is taking a zero. Um, we are going to George. Uh, I can't remember his last name. But it's uh, the shelter that is 13.3 miles from here. Oh, look at that. Somebody made a, a chair. Yeah, a couple of them. <laughs> a little view here by the campsite. Not much really, but... Maybe a little bit of... View through the trees. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of trees. It seems like the trail is so quiet. It's probably because not many crazy people like us are hiking in the middle of the day. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, wow. Show you, I have to go through that. Well, it was more exciting <laughs> this way.
I think it goes up over here, Milo. Yeah. Now don't fall. That's certain doom. Look at that one, they got the blaze painted away up there on top of that one. There's 12 miles of this too. I hope not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'll be thinking of uh, probably shades. Oh, shades they'll and blaze? They'll have to get some assistance for sure. Careful now, what did you do? No, I touched some kind of bug in Oh my gosh, seriously? <laughs> it was cold, I hope it wasn't a snake. Oh my gosh. Well, apparently they felt no. They thought this was the best option right here. So we're just gonna parkour across this here. <laughs> I told you it's 12 miles of this. I'm sure once you keep going forward, the way will present itself. It, it goes off to your right. Okay. Of course, it's when we had a recent I should have put my hole in my pack. Yeah, me too. A little late for that now, though, huh? 
one's over. <sighs> oh, this part, now we have serrated knife's edge, <laughs> which is even more difficult. Just to show you that not all of PA is rocky. <laughs> not all northern PA is rocky. Southern PA was beautiful. Yeah, with uh, rolling hills, grasslands. Oh, and I also, I keep forgetting, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to um, Ed. He's one of our YouTube subscribers and followers. He has been um, following us uh, since the beginning and he said he's watching our videos twice, been enjoying your comments. Just wanted to thank you for that. But normally, this is what the trail looks like. Miles and miles of this. How many miles are in Pennsylvania, Jeff? Uh, 290 something, I think. Yeah, 290. But this is just the northern portion, though. The southern portion isn't near like this. Yeah. So I figure maybe not even 100 miles. Okay. So not even 100 miles? Of like this? Is rocky? I would, yeah, probably, well, close to 100, but I don't think it's quite 100, though. But I think it makes sense for people who are nobos to remember all the rocks because this is the northern part. But that's what they would mostly remember about Pennsylvania. Yeah, but I want to take up my pack. All right, let's take them off right here then. We think this is the bake oven knob. Yeah, it's a nice overlook. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Downhill, which is harder on the knees.
Right. There's another one. Oh, those. Privy. Yeah. There's another one over there. Oh, really? Yeah, there's another one right there. You can see the tail. There's supposed to be three of them, I guess. Man, he, even if you pay me, I ain't staying in this shelter. This is yep. the bake oven knob shelter, right? Yep. I am not recommending you stay in so this shed. should be fairly mice free um and you have a slumber buddy <laughs> there's two of them that i saw and there are wasp wasp in here yeah. they say this shelter here will hold six six toddlers maybe <laughs> <laughs> and then the snakes will eat those so really it don't matter you put as many toddlers in there as you want <laughs> Sorry, Jeff's humor. <laughs> We're leaving. Yeah, and it doesn't smell very good in here. Yep. We're leaving. We just stop here for water. The water is not not very far, right? No, it's just right down the trail, maybe a hundred yards. If even. And it's a good source of water. Good does it have a pipe? Yeah, it's a pipe. Good. Anyway, we met a couple of uh, young hikers. They're completing their triple crown. They've already done the PCT, the CDT, helium, and what was the guy's name? Lefty. Lefty? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice people. Young, young people. Well, uh, Lefty's from Washington and she's from... Oregon. Oregon. Oh no. There are some more rocks. Can't be. The AT in PA without the rocks. It goes on the right.
We are about three miles or so to the shelter and uh, my feet are really screaming. I'm exhausted. It's not even that long of a hike but I think the rocks really will do a number on you. But anyway, we'll find a tenting site near the shelter. Hopefully there's a spot available by the spring. We know for sure four people who are going to be going to the shelter today. So hoping there will be a spot because this shelter has the only water available on trail for the next 20 miles after the shelter. Well, wanted to tell you that Jeff saw a bear, but I was way behind him so I wasn't able to to see the whole thing, but I kind of see his figure running in the woods. So first bear, he wasn't trying to scare the bear, but the bear ran off. So. <laughs> He's so excited. Anyway, we are a little over two miles to the shelter. We just saw the two people who we thought was were going to camp there and their camp about three miles from the shelter. So curious to see who is who are camping or staying in the shelter. Oh there's some more houses over there. I wonder which part we have to climb. What are you talking about? Because we're supposed to climb tomorrow, the Lehigh. You know, the difficult the difficult climb. <laughs> 